second is called incomplete mediation. Okay, so what is incomplete mediation? It's common in web-based applications. So it is like a, in web-based application, like in apps, okay, through web browser, occurs when application accepts incorrect data inputs uh, over there. So, like for example, uh, if you say the uh, the data inputs incorrect data inputs over there, example passing the parameters to a routine through the uh, web browser over there. So for example, uh, instead of age, you put X, Y, Z, or like slash hash uh, special characters over there, or you pass some specific parameters to routines. Routines mean the function inside it to the web browser over there. So it is kind of a SQL injection kind of thing. If you know about a SQL injection, where you pass the wrong parameters over there. For the web application, the mediation needs to ensure correct inputs. Common example, JavaScript code to do the validation check over there. So what happens uh, in the forms, okay, uh, like for example, if you need to fill a form on a web page, okay, so there should be a, a client side validation, not, not on the server, client side validation means at your side. So if you fill a form, name, age, okay, date of birth, Okay, currency or whatever and then you would submit over there right so if you after, for clicking submit you, you the JavaScript will check all these values over there through a small code over there so JavaScript code or VB script code is needed on the client side to check your validation sometime uh, when you put like a wrong thing like for example the age you put like ABC so the Google forms or they, they or the other forms they give you uh, uh, a message uh, you have put wrong uh, uh, like uh, entry over there but for the for the username and the password it cannot be done at the client side you have to go to the server side so server side the google server or the youtube server it will be in the server it will be validated over there because the username and password cannot be validated at your side because you don't have the server you are you are only the client so the client only checks uh, there is a code behind the, the javascript code it will only check the entries over there so you can like uh, skip the incomplete mediation over there but for the username and password you must uh, check from the server and it will give you back the answer over there so that is the uh, difference between the client side programming